Welcome back to the Pepsi Cal Sports Report. Joining us now, volleyball coach Rich Feller. Congratulations. Uh, a big weekend in a lot of regards. You had four different matches, but you continued to, to roll right through the non-conference, 10-0. and 0. You haven't lost a set. What were your impressions of this past weekend? Well, one of the things I really liked was we brought in four teams that were actually pretty quality teams. Um, you know, we did roll through them uh, without a defeat in sets, but each team provided something a little bit different. And, of course, with that number one ranking on our backs in a big bullseye, everyone played very good against us. And so it, it presented some challenges. At the same time, because we had four matches, we wanted to get some rest time for some regulars and also some court time for some subs. And so we're, we were able to utilize a lot of different lineups, see who could do what, and really get get a good feel for what our team can be down the stretch. I think you played as many as 14 players during the course of the weekend, so you did get, and, and you probably wanted to get a lot of different people in, not only to see what they can do, but, and we talked about this last week, you're in a really tough physical stretch with the four matches this past weekend, the Tuesday match with Stanford, and then the upcoming matches this week with Colorado and Utah. Yeah, it's, it just benefits us if we can get not only the rest, but also the experience for inexperienced players. And uh, I think we accomplished that very well. And again, we didn't drop a set doing it. Dominating up front as uh, you hit over 30% in each one of the matches and you, had, you averaged uh, 10 team blocks for the weekend as well. As you look at the entire non-conference season, how would you evaluate your team as you get ready for conference play this week? I think we're slowly getting better and better, and, and that really has to be the progress for us all year long. I don't want to be the very best team we can be you know, this weekend with the, uh, the Pac-12 opening, but I want to be very good in getting better. And I think this preseason accomplished that. We had a long trip, we had two home stands, and we played a lot of matches. So uh, I think we did what we wanted to do, and we're slowly getting into that rhythm that we need to take into the conference. Any area where you were most pleased or any area where where you felt or you feel that you need to have a little more improvement? Every area needs more improvement, okay. but we've, uh, I think our passing game got better as, this, as the weekend went on, and that's one of the big keys. Uh, our serving was a little sporadic early in the tournament, and it improved markedly by the end of the tournament. So those two areas, I think we saw some improvement during the weekend. Our offense is just getting more solidified. It's getting more varied and, uh, and a little more confident. Ellie's got more and more confidence in her hitters. The hitters have more confidence in her. And as the passing improves, that will in in increase even more. All right, as we tape this program, you uh, have uh, already played, or you haven't played Stanford, so we can't really talk too much about that one. Uh, we'll talk about that next week. But on the weekend, you're going to have Colorado and Utah. Uh, what are your assessment of the two newest teams in the Pac-12 conference? You know, they're going to be coming in here again, fighting for um for some wins with uh, two of the top teams in the country. So I'm sure they're, they've got some stars in their eyes, but at the same time, they're not going to be intimidated by anyone. Uh, you know, they both played tough matches this year. They don't have great records to show for themselves right now, but that means nothing. Once you start, it's, it's you know, one-on-one -on -one right there. Um, I think that they're going to be excited to play in our, in our arenas, and, uh, and that should be fun for them, and I think their players will get up for it and, and give us some good competition. I'm hoping not too good a competition, <laughs> but, you know, it, we, we will expect the best from them. The Pac-12 conference always has been, you know, the, the premier conference, top to bottom in the country. Uh, there's no question about that. How would you assess the, the fight for the championship this year? It's going to be a battle again uh, with ourselves and Stanford right now is undefeated. And uh, I guess I can't say that because we don't know what happens. That's Tuesday. exactly I right. I want to say that. You're, <laughs> you're hoping they have yeah. one loss as, yeah. we, as this airs, I guess. Exactly. Um, but, you know, UCLA has done amazing things already. USC has won some big matches. Washington is undefeated so far. It's going to be a dogfight again with the top four, five, six teams or so. Oregon had the upset win over uh, Penn State early on. So... Just about anything can happen again. I think uh, it's going to come down to who plays good on a given night and uh, maybe splitting on the road with some of the tougher road trips or sweeping on the road if you get a chance to do that. So it, it's going to be good, just like last year and the year before and the year before, the year before that. that. For the last 30 years, yeah. the Pac-12 conference used to be the old Pac-8 and the Pac-10. Well, good luck this weekend. I know you have a busy, busy weekend in store, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you very much. All right, head coach Rich Feller on the Pepsi Cal Sports Report.